Hello. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I um, recently watched it. Um, I've seen the original miniseries years ago. I own it, but, you know, but this movie is what we're talking about. So I'm not going to have that up there. Uh, but, you know, I uh, have... Um, I didn't see it in the theater. I know many people who did. But I just wasn't able to get out uh, when it was... When it came out in the theater. So my guy just waited for it to come out on Blu-ray. And I saw it and I enjoyed it. Um, it seems to be more faithful to the book, yet I've never read the book. And that might seem weird, but the thing is, I'm somebody who's around people who intentionally or unintentionally, when they talk about a book, about based on a movie or something, they ruin stuff for me for the book, so if I ever wanted to watch or read the book of a movie I that I never read, well, I basically have a bunch of plot points that are spoiled because then they compare to what should have been in the movie or what wasn't in the movie but was better left out and this and that so I'm like, I have plot points ruined for me for the book and the book's like uh, over a thousand pages so yeah there you go that's kind of something but whatever um I uh enjoyed it uh Bill <clears throat> Bill Skarsgård was very good as Pennywise. Different from Tim Curry, but Tim Curry's was more campy. He was very good in the, that, the 91, the 90s version. Um, the child actors were all good. Uh, Jaden Libner, I think that's how you pronounce his name, I have no idea. Um, yeah... I, all I know him from is really um, St. Vincent, which is a film I enjoy, Bill Murray. Um, all the other kids uh, I've never seen before. Though the kid who plays Richie is apparently in Stranger Things, which I've never seen. Um, you know, it's a lot more gory and uh, seemed to be very, uh, again, very. Uh, based on the book, very true to the book, where the 90s version wasn't as much, um, though it was made for TV, so there's only so much back then that you could show, because it wasn't like TVMA, it was like TV14 or something, so it would be the equivalent of a PG-13 type thing, and it's kind of like a film like It, or something like It, you can't really do that, so they had to censor a whole lot, and, but you know, I thought it was good. Uh, this is chapter one. Chapter two will come out next September. Uh, the very next day, actually, after this movie. This movie came out September 8th. The, yeah, so this film will come, the next film will come out September 9th, which also is the very day Stephen King actually wrote the book. I saw it at a bookstore, I saw, the, I don't have it, but I looked at it, and it said, it began, Stephen King began writing it uh, September 9th, 1981, and finished it in December of 1985, so it took him four years to write the book, though that makes sense, since it's like over a thousand pages. And, uh, I've heard some people criticize this film, like, as time goes on, Pennywise is not scary. It gets, he gets less and less scary the more you see him, which is true, but I guess you could say that for practically any kind of villain or horror monster, creature, whatever, I guess you could say, like, the more you see said villain, the less scary they are because now you're more used to them. Like Jason Voorhees or Freddy Krueger, the more you see them, they're not as scary. Like, I guess, like, 
the mis mysterious part aspects of them are gone, I guess you could say. Because uh, as the film goes on, they... I suck at pointing. But as the film goes on, they, uh, you know, they... You see more of Pennywise, and... Yeah, they know more about him, and he's not as scary, but that happens. Uh, I'll go with this one. Blood, yeah. See, Georgie gets his arm bitten off. Which I'm like, wow, that's very... Very... Something. Uh, I didn't find it scary. Um, but, you know, I don't really find horror movies really scary. I, I believe I've said before, Jaws is the only film that ever scared me. Still true to this very day. And, uh... Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I will say one big difference is uh, when they're all leaving the sewer, after, spoiler alert, they kill it, they kill Pennywise, though I'm pretty sure most of you all know that, you've probably seen the movie, you've probably seen the original, uh, quite possibly you've even read the book, so, uh, you know, but, um, again, this is part one, this is the kids half the next half will be all about the adults so I heard uh, or I read something that said the kids will, from this movie will be in the sequel but there'll be a flashback so I don't know if that will be new stuff or it'll be a bunch of you know uh, footage from this movie and they just splice it in uh, whether at the beginning or at different points like when at a certain kid is thinking of something, but, uh, yeah, um, um, but, yeah, they, like, I have no idea, but, anyway, those kids, I guess, will be in the second film, at least as of now, as something changes between now and the time they begin filming, as well as editing, perhaps, at the end, they could decide to not to even include them at all. Like, it might disrupt the flow or something, I don't know, but... One big thing, um, again, is, is that was completely different from the book, in both versions of it, which rightfully is not in any incarnation, film-wise, is... There was a scene where, uh, the girl, Beverly, uh, she has sex with all the guys in the sewer after they kill Pennywise because that's like the best way to get out of the sewer scene because they don't know how to get out they get lost like they don't know where it was they like which way they came in from so they uh, so she has this idea of undressing and uh, yeah decides which they should all have sex, and that's going to help them figure it all out, and apparently it does, and helps them, so. Uh, I heard some people say, oh, that's how they killed Pennywise. No, that's not how they killed Pennywise. That's how they all got out of the sewer after they killed Pennywise. Either way, it's still weird and dumb, because it's like, they're all like, because in the book, they're all I believe they were all 11 or so, maybe 12. In the movie, they're 13, so... Again, I haven't read the book, but, you know, I'm just going off of what the film says and what I've heard from people talking in details about the book. So, yeah... Uh, that scene was not there, and I'm good. Though I haven't watched the deleted scenes, so... Who knows? Maybe that scene is there. I doubt it, but, you know... Again, nobody needs to watch... Uh, a scene like that, because it's like... Uh, uh, yeah, a bunch of 13-year-olds... Doing that. No. But yeah, I uh, just 
thought I'd come on and talk about it. That was a good film. Can't wait to see chapter two. Uh, yeah. See you all next time.